Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox and take a close-up look at the Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a pair of Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino basketball shoes. And this pair is an immense UK size 14, USA size 15, Euro size 49.5 and, and 33 centimeters. And this pair is in a black Palomino sale metallic gold colorway. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by flipping up the box lid or we'll actually lifting it off to reveal the contents inside and giving you a look directly in the box and of course let's peel back the wrapping paper to reveal the Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino or Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Palomino. And let's lift out the left shoe first and focus on it. So just setting the box to the side, setting it on the left hand side of the tabletop so it doesn't interfere as we take a look at this Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino. And let's do a 360 rotation so you have a full and clear look of the basketball shoe. And now taking a close up look at the details of the shoe, you can see the black leather panel for the toe guard, and of course, the majority aspects of the shoe. And of course, the somewhat ultra suede Palomino toe box panel, and you can see the perforations as well. So giving you a close up look at the details there. And of course, just rubbing my finger along the texture of that suede panel. And of course, the mud guard with the black leather giving you a look at the grain details of its texture and of course the stitching details as well and we can also see the sail or slightly off white color of the outsole right there And as we move towards the midfoot area, so once again we see that very luxurious looking black panels making up the majority of the upper cover of the shoe. And of course, once again we see that Palomino or kind of rustic brown color on the swoosh. And of course, continuing through towards the back of the shoe, we see the same details throughout. And of course the Air Jordan branding right there. And taking a look directly from the back, once again we see that very finely grain leather for the black panel and of course the very smooth almost ultra suede of that Palomino named panels in brown. So as we move towards the inner side of the shoe once again same details but giving you a look up close at the various aspects and details of the Palomino.
and now taking a look from the front or tip or toe of the shoe and slowly moving towards the back as so you can see the overall details of this high top lace up and we can see the Nike Air tongue label or patch and that's supposedly metallic gold but it is more of a rich yellow color of course that continues towards the back with the Nike branding details on the back of the tongue okay so those are the details and we can see the lining at the back of the tongue as well and the padding which is really soft and puffy but feeling very light at the same time as well so giving you a look at the inside details of the shoe and of course the padding around the ankle collar and towards the back as well so just squeezing on the foam padding inside of the lining and of course let's take a look at the inside details of the shoe so just removing the stuffing that's inside so we can try and see the details a little bit better right there with the inner shoe labels and of course the sock liner or insole let's see if you can see the details a little bit more clearly with the inside labels and other aspects of the shoe okay so just tucking the tongue back towards the inside of the shoe and of course taking a look now at the sole or bottom of the shoe we can see the palomino or brown rubber sole and taking a close-up look it does have the signature star studded traction pattern towards the outsole or edges of the sole and of course the Nike branding in the middle without the air and the locks that make up the traction pattern of the sole so giving you a much closer in look and just tapping my finger along the various parts of the sole now dragging my finger across the various parts of the sole as well so right there a close-up look of the sole of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino and now let's do a flexibility bend and twist test with my hands to give you some sense of its flexibility stiffness or firmness and of course the shoe is unlaced but giving you a look at just how it responds and of course squeezing the various parts as well
and now just puffing it back in shape and doing a just general quick tidy up so you can see once again the overall details of the shoe And now let's take a look at the right side of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino. So just setting the left shoe to the side and once again bringing the box back in frame. And this time lifting out the right shoe. And just setting the box to the side again. And now taking a look at the right shoe of Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Palomino. So once again, taking a close up look at the details right throughout with the black palomino sail and metallic gold details of the shoe and the Air Jordan branding and of course once again taking a look at the inside details and see if there's any difference on this side as we remove the paper stuffing once again and showing you the overall details So up close, on the inner side of the shoe, the back, and of course the outer side with the high top and Air Jordan trademark logo, and back to the front again. And of course taking a look at the sole of the shoe. And now let's take a look at the pair side by side. And from the front. Moving towards the back. And of course, directly from the back. And the bottoms or soles of the shoe. So that's Nike Air Jordan 1 Palomino. Thanks for watching and happy scoring!